Totally. <laughs> what is that? A smoothie. <laughs> This is Perfect Harvest MLP Studios. Hello, every pony, and welcome to the show. Yeah, that's probably about as excited as I've been today because um, give off one of those days where everything just seems to go wrong or go downhill because that's what it seems to be like for me at work today until. Misty finally arrived from Amazon. I'm ecstatic because new best pony is finally in my collection and enough waffling. I think we should just get to the review really. So on the far left of the box, we've got the really cute image of Misty and there's the G5 My Little Pony logo at the top. And it says there's 16 accessories. There's Misty herself looking amazing. And then if I just bring it up, because my camera is going as far down as it can. Water reveal. It says that on a lot of things that are G5 related. I'm not sure what exactly it means. Um, and then at the bottom, it says Misty Bright Dawn, style of the day. And there's a big warning in the bottom, Hasbro. Buy our toys! Not much on the right, apart from some safety gubbins. On the left is a picture of everything that comes in the set, along with the pony herself. On the back is just a bigger picture of the set. And in the top right corner of the back of the box, it says Misty, and it's got a butterfly, which I think is her cutie mark. And it says, colourful style for the Bridal Woodstock Festival in different languages. I just want to get to opening her as quickly as possible, mainly because I've waited for so long and I'm also filming this during my lunch break and uh, I want to do it as quickly as I can. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, actually I should have got some scissors first. Hold on. Right, we are back and we have scissors. So I'm armed and extremely dangerous. There we go, that's that bit. And what did that do? Um, oh, right, so in here, is the bag of accessories, which seems to be set to the inside. So, there's the accessories. Um, now, is there anywhere we can get Misty out from this? Oh, God, there's another bag of accessories. Look at that. Two bags, wow. Um, nothing else on that side, so we just need to try and free Misty. Right, please say this comes down front. It must do, somehow. As always, feel free to uh, amuse yourselves whilst I struggle with this. There are... Oh, joy, joy, there's those um, horrible... Well, they're not twisty ties, but they're like the little sellotape things. Oh, actually, God, no, there is twisty ties. <laughs> Me and my big mouth, what did I just say? Um, I'm going to cut to everything being out of the box, so see you in a sec. And so, here she is. Look at her. She's so adorable. I love how they've even got her little freckles on her. And she's got little eyelashes. And the back of her mane, sort of like her locks and all done in plastic. I'm pretty sure that's plastic anyway. And... One thing I also have noticed is obviously because it's called style of the day, you can change. So if you flip her hair the other way, she's all pretty much pink instead of dark blue. I have to say that I do prefer her mane um, with the purple. She's a little bit difficult to stand up actually, actually because she's uh, a posable one. So she is posable at the front and back legs on a single pivot joint. I have to say, I know, is it because she's supposed to be like a slightly younger pony than the main five or but her legs look really bandy and skinny is that is she supposed to be like that is that how she is i haven't really paid that much attention to it in the show the hair quality itself is really really nice it's very soft very wavy as misty's hair is but at the same time it does get tangled quite a lot and there are quite a lot of uh, loose ends coming off here and there and uh, it's got a few, few split ends already which isn't amazing her head is poseable on a single pivot joint there's her unicorn horn and there's her cutie mark as well which is um, the butterfly which I believe is now canon in the show so let's pop Misty there for a minute and uh, of course, we've got to look at the accessories. So this one is a slightly smaller bag. 
well, small, smaller in terms of what's inside it. There doesn't feel so much in here. So what have we got? We have got, um, yes, one of those. Um, it's obviously a hair clip. It's got a rainbow on it with some clouds. Opens up, comes up. Got like hairs coming out of it or fabrics that have got a pattern on it. I know that this is supposed to tie in with the Bridal Woodstock Festival. You know, it's all hippie and that, but um, yeah, don't, don't really understand that one or why it was just in this bag on its own. Let's have a look in this bag. Ah uh, uh, yes, the obligatory stickers. You've got rainbows, lots of flower power with it being a music festival. Uh, there's lightning bolts there with uh, Zip's cutie mark. And they're very glossy as well. And then here we've got a comb, which is in the shape. It's got, I think it's got wings on the side. And it's, is that a crystal? I've never seen that design before. Safety warning, nobody gives a toss about. Ah, headphones, which, there we go, where apparently her temples and now her ears. Yeah, not sure I understand that. Um, and also, if you were at a music festival, wouldn't you want to, wouldn't you want to be listening to the music that was playing? Um, oops, sorry, love. Oh, are these like little wristbands? Um, so yeah, these wristbands, open at the top like a lot of the g5 um, shoes and that do a tiny little plastic flimsy bracelet i thought for a second that was a toe separator but um but then i remember that oh right here we are so i think i've read about this somewhere so this is like a friendship necklace or something y y yes one of those it's got a hole in it so don't, not sure how that fits in. Uh, we've got another one of those little bracelets. Oh, we've got loads of these things. We've got another bracelet, which and another one of those things which is just kamikaze onto the floor. So I'm not really sure how all these accessories go on, but I'll have a look at the picture and try and deck her up. No idea where these little gem things are supposed to go. And to be honest, I don't really want to mess up her hair. Um, and make it worse condition by putting this hair clip in it. But um, I've got the little wristbands and bracelets on her front hooves. Um, the problem with this, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a really nice pose, but the problem with this is, if you lift this up any, well, not, uh, not that way, but she becomes a bit top heavy. So you always kind of have to have her front left hoof on the ground. But um, but yeah, I think there's supposed to be some sort of color changing heat triggered thing on her freckles because on this side she's got little flowers, but on this side she's got freckles. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Um, I'm not really willing to find out to be honest, but, um, but yeah, in essence, that's Misty. Yeah, as Misty is my new pretty much my new favorite character in G5. Um, I couldn't resist the temptation to get her. I've been watching on Amazon for ages and then I finally got her um, a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, she's here. She's part of the family now. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a cheeky comment if you fancy. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Take care. And if you cannot obey, then you will wither away. And your feet will be up and so. And you'll open up your window and you'll suddenly find that a peanut has knocked on your door. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But if you understand this, then you're mad. It doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense, and the singing is also quite bad.